I'm Darren with Action Esports, and welcome back to another installment of Action Recap, the show where we highlight various stories ongoing within the esports community. In preparation for the release of the new wave of white away jerseys, teams in the Overwatch League have been hard at work capitalizing on the markability of the league, with negotiations with various sponsors for a piece of jersey real estate for their brand. Two Overwatch League teams have had their upcoming sponsors revealed by the league's official jersey partner into the AM. The London Spitfire will be sporting a Logitech logo on their jerseys. This is a fairly tame deal as far as sponsors go, as Logitech has had a long working relationship with Spitfire's parent company, Cloud9, and is a brand that is known for having supported teams across various titles in the esports industry. The more surprising of the two sponsor leaks was the sponsorship deal between the LA Valiant and the Stars Television Network, which involves having one of their original series, Ash vs. Evil Dead, featured on the upper left of their jersey. The Stars Television Network sponsorship can trace its origins back to Valiant's operators, Immortals, who had taken an investment from Lionsgate Entertainment in January 2017. Prior to entering esports with IMT, Liongate closed a $4.4 million deal with Stars. Ash vs. Evil Dead has nothing to do with esports, let alone gaming, but that's kind of what the purpose of advertisement is. Take one look at traditional sports such as the NHL, where you can see various company logos on display around the rink during a match, despite having no relation to sports. This is an effective sponsorship for both parties as IMT can appease their investors while Star's original series will be able to gain some valuable exposure to the highly valuable millennial youth demographic that may not have been aware that Ash vs. Evil Dead even existed because quite frankly, I didn't. Having a television network tap into the marketing potential of esports to help market their products is an exciting prospect as it showcases the industry's ability to take in non-traditional sponsors and opens the way for similar deals to be planned in the future. Following up on the story of how popular Overwatch YouTuber Stylosa has been helping Britishfy, the London Spitfire, as a consultant, we recently had a glimpse at one of likely many more fun activities the team has in store. In a Twitter video, Stylosa introduced a few of the Spitfire members to the taste of Marmite, a sticky, salty dark brown food paste derived from yeast extract with a distinctive but powerful flavor that you either love or hate. They say you either love it or you hate it. <laughs> I'll give him a small amount because I don't want to kill him. Let's read that. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. 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 I think he likes it. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. I love it. It's delicious. For our next story of the day, the researchers at NewZoo predicted that esports revenue would near $1 billion this year, and just two months into 2018, we have already seen a major multi-million dollar investment. According to an announcement by Echo Fox's ownership group, Vision Esports, the holding company has raised $38 million in a funding round that includes backing from a long list of impressive investors that include Kevin Durant, Odell Beckham Jr., and the St. Louis Cardinals, among others. Vision Esports was founded by former San Jose Sharks minority owner Stratton Sklavos, video game developer Jace Hall, and former MGM Resorts executive Chris Nordling. The holdings company currently owns and invests in a number of esports companies and was assisted by Evolution Media, an investment firm backed by creative artist agency and private equity firm TPG Growth during their latest round of funding. Other investors that have taken an interest in Echo Fox include Shamrock Holdings, the private investment firm backed by the Walt Disney family, and Simon Tickham of First Access Entertainment. Echo Fox was founded and currently led by three-time NBA champion and actor Rick Fox and former New York Knicks forward Jared Jeffries, who served as the company's president. In the past, the organization received investment from the New York Yankees in October, ahead of their entry into the NALCS as a franchise team. For our next story in League of Legends news, after over a year of since being teased and internal development, voice chat is finally just about ready to ship in League of Legends a highly desirable feature from the community that has been missing from the game since launch. The brand new feature was added to the PBE yesterday for players to test out and help Riot Games squash any final bugs before it's ready to be pushed into the live client. So how does this system work? Unlike games such as Overwatch, where you have the option of entering a chat room with people who you've never interacted before in your entire existence on this planet, voice chat in League of Legends will be limited to those who are in the game lobby who you've partied with. That's right, you can only communicate with those you choose 
to invite into your party. Afterwards, a new dialogue window will appear showing who is in your voice channel along with the ability to adjust individual volume settings to your liking, among other options to choose from. If you happen to need to make any post-champion selection adjustments, you can pull up the same voice chat window next to the minimap by clicking a small voice icon next to the camera lock icon. Lastly, just like in Overwatch, if you enjoy a teammate that you recently played with, you can add them to your party at the end screen and keep on queuing up together without having to make any additions to your friend list. What are your thoughts on using in-game voice options in competitive games like Overwatch or perhaps League of Legends? Do you find yourself relying on third-party software like Discord, Skype, or Google Hangouts? Personally speaking, I'm a fan of Discord, but let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And with that, that's all for this installment of Action Recap. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the release of new content. Also, consider checking out some of our other videos. And if you have something to say and want to join in on the conversation, be sure to join our Discord server. Links to that and everything else mentioned in this video are in the description box below. This has been Darren from Action Esports, and we'll see you in the next one.